So Mark, talk us through Ubuntu for mobile. So this is the full desktop operating system, the full Ubuntu as you know and love it, running on a Google or Samsung Galaxy Nexus, which is the third generation, one generation old Nexus. Uh, we use that phone because it's a good proxy for what the low end smartphones will look like in 2014, which is our um, target market. We have to perform well on that. As you can see, it's pretty snappy. Um, so here are sort of a messaging indicator. I can reply directly to that message, or if I wanted to get to say, uh, the sound stuff or anything like that. Here's, just like on Ubuntu, here's my favorite app set. Um, and if I dock this, you can imagine I would get a desktop version of all of these applications, right? So this is a native application, a native gallery application. I can show you the, the photo roll view of that. Um, we generally try to immerse the user in the content, so there's no Chrome, no buttons. You, uh, we have a standard gesture here at the bottom to, to get the buttons. We use the right edge to go back, we use the left edge to go forward, and we use the top edge for the system. So that's the story, in a nutshell. There's been a bit of confusion at the moment, especially within our commenters, about how much of it's actually Android and how much of it's Ubuntu. Oh, it's just the kernel. Okay. So basically it's Linux. We say Android because handset manufacturers, if, you know, if they know that they're shipping an Android phone, then at least they've got an Android kernel. We're using very little of the rest of it. We don't use Java. Uh, Java. If you wanted to port an Android application to the Ubuntu phone, you could very easily do that using Dalvik. You would just embed that in your app, just like you might embed Python or embed Ruby or any other kind of language interpreter. Sure. But we won't provide a system Dalvik. We won't try and, and provide like a guarantee of compatibility across the environment. So it would be some small porting effort if you want to port an Android app to Ubuntu. A lot of Android developers are using Ubuntu as a development environment for Android, so that's a very natural, easy thing for them to take care of anyway. So we expect it to be very easy for people who have Android apps to come across. Um, but we're not sort of advertising Android compatibility. True. When can people expect to download this for their phones? It looks great. Uh, we haven't announced a date for that, but it's uh, it's not far away. No um, we'll target only a few developer-oriented phones, so phones like the Nexus phones, which are easily unlocked, um, uh, to build community and to make it easy for people to kind of get on board. Um, and then we expect to ship with carriers and, uh, and handset manufacturers in the first quarter of 2014. Fantastic. Mark Shadowa, thanks for talking to us on Gizmodo. Oh, it was a pleasure. Cheers.